guys, what's going on? Welcome back, we're Staff here, and this is Naruto Ninja Tribes, a brand new game I've been playing for the last couple of weeks, and I haven't really made any videos about this game yet, because I really don't like to make videos on games I don't know too much about, until I really get the feel of how the game really is. So, let's dig right into this game, it's all about Naruto, the best anime ever created. I'm gonna show you guys my shinobi list here, and uh, mind you guys, I've spent some good amount of money in this game, so I got a lot of the better characters in the game. But, it's actually a bit free to play for this game, unless you're trying to be number one and everything. But, uh, let's go ahead, let's dig right into it, guys. So, as you can see here, I've got Baruto's teacher Sasuke there, uh, Jiraiya. This video is mostly going to be about the brand new characters that were just released here. The Killer B and his brother, the fourth Raikage here. Now, working on characters is quite pricey in this game, guys. If you... Uh, I recommend that the, the, the teams that you start initially are the teams that you're going to stick with for quite a bit of time because working on new characters, it's going to cost you a lot of Ryu. This is the, the gold in this game. And uh, trust me, you run out pretty quickly of the Ryu there. So, uh, this is our edit team section here. This is the teams that I currently have right now. My plan is to actually change my energy team here to Killer B and his brother there because I think they're going to be a little bit of a team. And also, I'm going to implement in Kakashi as well. So I think it's going to be a lot better of a team. The speed is going to be through the roof here. So this is one thing I want to show you guys here for the fourth Raikage. His speed is off the chain. 280, but mind you, I have boosted it a little bit. I might boost it a little bit more here. Actually, I might need to boost somebody else. So anyways, guys, let me show you a little bit of the gameplay of this game. And then you guys can go from there. We're going to head and jump into... Actually, let's not jump into a mission here. Let's jump into the arena. So, this is the ninja arena here. It's not PvP. It's just, you know, <sighs> PvAI. You just face the AI here. Uh, I have not done any battles lately, so let's go ahead here. I am number one in this server, so we're going to go ahead and attack the strongest guy we got available. And it's very basic here. Here are the teams that we're facing. This is your opponents, and this is our team. You get your bonuses on the side for being in each little faction here the force gets attack bonus plus their secondary bonus once you upgrade it then the spirit gets a different bonus and then the energy gets the speed this one i recommend is the number one you go for the energy faction it will increase your speed of everyone in that faction by quite a bit guys all right so um trust me you want to go for the energy faction there let's go ahead and change up our teams here we're going to go to team three here because this is the two Raikage brothers and kakashi the team that i'm actually talking about in this video here so let's go into a battle here and uh, see how they perform they are drastically under leveled they're not been worked on that much because i just got them like i said and uh, this game is crazy glitching here on the player i'm not sure why it glitches so hard in certain sections of the game it glitches, in the other sections it doesn't. So the gameplay in the Ninja Arena is autoplay, you just gotta let it go. Uh, all the factions they face off against each other, whoever's speed is highest goes first. So our opponent is faster here, so he's gonna go first. Let's see how this is gonna play out here. Alright, my turn! Boom, boom, man. Incredible power, Sasuke is unbelievable here. So there's different forms of characters here. As you can see, this guy right here is uh, the different form of Sasuke. He does completely different abilities here. But the legendary signing are incredible, guys. This is my number one team in the game. They are so good. Jiraiya is literally a defense shinobi killer. And um, Orochimaru does a lot of confusing. He could stun as well. And Sonata, she does a lot of uh, chakra and healing, so it's really good. Oh, yeah, so here they are here, the two brothers, boom, boom. See, they're really, really under level right now, so they don't really punch that high. And looks like, ooh, he survived. I'm actually surprised that Killer B survived there. Now, here's what I was talking about, the speed of the matchups, guys. If you can see the three, I mean, the Killer B and the, the fourth Rekage there, and... Oh, 63,000 there. My god, that was a powerful attack there. And Kakashi, I was talking about. They have incredibly high speed because they're in the energy faction there. Whoever you put in the energy faction is going to have way higher speed. So you see 200, 220, 210, and 233 for my signing. So it equals 6 to 63. Ooh, that's really close. But I get to go first here, which means it's going to be obliteration. This is their ultimate special here. 
there's a lot of different tribe specials that you can combine. The Sonning have their own tribe special here, as you guys will see right now. It's incredible. It's so powerful here. It's got a 35% chance to paralyze. It heals. It just does so many things here. So, and 357,000 damage here. If you destroy your opponent, the attack is blocked. They cannot attack you here. And here they are. Look at the speed on them. 1,530. <laughs> Uh, that means uh, they're gonna be going first quite a bit here guys most of the time This is why I'm gonna switch out my the sand shinobis for these guys because they're just 69,000 there on this ultimate that is incredible. There's lightning blade 77,000 Wow Incredible incredible amount of damage done by these guys here And uh, the reason why I'm switching this up as well is because of Tsunade. Tsunade gives extra chakra to attack shinobis. So currently right now I have the Sand Siblings, Gara, Kankuro and uh, Tamari there. But only Kankuro is an attack shinobi which means they're not really taking full advantage of Tsunade. So I'm going to switch them up because now with Kakashi and Killer B I'm going to get extra chakra for my attack shinobis which means they will ultimate a little bit quicker. So it's going to make it a lot you know what I mean? I think it's gonna make my arena team a lot better here. But the only problem is that Killer B literally was just released right now. So it's gonna take a long time before he becomes more farmable. And uh, that might cost me in the long run. Because as you will see in this game, having uh, characters that are not ultra rare, sometimes it's actually beneficial for you. And we'll dig into that a little bit more. So we got our win there. We got our match points here. And we'll dig a little bit further into arena maybe in a future video here. But uh, basically, you just got to climb the ladder in the arena, guys. And then you get the daily points at the end of the day there. So you go into rewards. And there's a couple of different things here. So now I'm 60, I'm ranked 66. But the, uh, the arena is a little bit different in this game than any other game. So what you do is you attack every single... You know, obviously, you get a certain amount of attacks every day. But you get uh, ranked by uh, the amount of daily points, right? So the higher the opponent that you can attack, you can see he's going to give me their... You know, point rewards, 3,200. If I can attack this guy 10 times, potentially, I'm going to get 32,000 amount of points, which means you jump right up at the top of the ladder. And then, obviously, you get less points the weaker the opponent that you're facing. That's just how the game works. Uh, now, let's go back into talking about um, teams. Yeah, let's dig into the teams real quick here. So, this is the tribe specials that I was talking about before. You need a certain amount of characters for a certain amount of tri specials. As you can see here, they're all different. This is the, the double Lariat brothers here. Uh, so they deal 100% damage plus 183% damage to one enemy. Increase all allies' speed by 10 and boost their damage. Increase rate by 30% for one turn. It's only a one turn speed, uh, redu I mean, increase and boosting their attack. But oh, man, it's pretty powerful right there. And then you get a bunch of different, uh, of these uh, tribe specials here. All right, now let's get into the Shinobi list here and uh, dig a little further deeper with Killer B and his brother here. So let's take a look at Killer B's abilities here. So he's a level 50 right now, and he's only—I mean, mine is at tier 11. I'm close to getting him to tier 12. I just need to get to level 55 for him. Like I said, gaining those levels is pretty difficult in this game, guys, because. You don't really get that much leveling up. Well, actually, I got some right now. So let's go ahead and give him something here. Give him some more. Just give him a little bit of everything here. Choop. And let's give him some of this here. Thank you very much. Okay, so these are the different things you can do with each Shinobi, right? You can promote them here. You can enhance their skills one by one. They have a total of six, no, seven skills. Uh, it all unlocks by star levels. Right, so when you get him to a different star level, you unlock a new ability here. It's got nothing to do with gear. This is the gear. You can enhance these a lot more. There's scrolls and talismans here. Just going to increase their attack, HP, things like that. Vitality. Now, this is a release depending on um, what tier gear their, your, you know, your hero is. So if you take a look at our Sasuke here. Sasuke is gear tier 13. Uh, his skills, his gear is a lot more than those guys. Scrolls are higher. And Vitality, he's got three now. Each one will give him something different. This one is uh, enhancing his chakra. This one is uh, enhancing his uh, arena HP. And this one enhances skill activation rate. And the last one will be a gear tier 15. It's going to get extra 1,000 HP, which will help out quite a bit here. But let's go ahead. Let's go back to Killer B here and talk about his skills in just a second. And then I'm going to show you guys their tribe special. So this is really the most important skill 
out of every uh, shinobi that you can get right here so this is his basically his ultimate deals 100% damage 147% damage to one enemy 35% chance to stun <laughs> that is incredible 35% chance is more than one out of you know every three turns so I like that deals 43% extra damage during a three chain attack boost all allies defense by 64% if the target is not defeated so that one is a tricky one here because this guy is going to hit really hard, guys. I mean, ah, uh, that's a... It, it does extra damage on a 3 chain, for one thing. And two, he's going to kill a lot of the time. But if he doesn't, then their defense is going to go down by quite a bit here, guys. By 64%, which means the rest of the guys are going to kill on the next turn anyway. So... Uh, his basic attack here deals good amount of damage to one enemy if target is a tactical shinobi it does extra damage So that's also why I like this right here um, He's kind of like Sasuke deals extra damage to tactical shinobis If you take a look if we get up to four stars here boost own attack by 10% if user is active at the start of the turn and lasts for the rest of the battle so boost own attack by 10% 10% extra attack on this guy is just phenomenal um, so that's basically it for him. Let's move down to the fourth Raikage here, and we're going to take a look at his ultimate here. It's very similar to Killer B, though. Uh, so he does a good amount of damage here. 35% chance to stun as well. Increased speed by 15 for user and all allies and the same three-man cell for the rest of the battle. That is fantastic right here, guys. Getting his ultimate off is so important. Getting that extra 15 speed is really, really good here. Because you're going to see in just a, a second here. So, deals 100% damage, more damage, deals damage extra when attacking first. So, his basic here is going to do more damage once you use up his ultimate. Once his ultimate is used, he's going to get 50% more damage. And then you will be able to do a lot more damage with his basic. And this is why I'm putting Kakashi on this team as well. Because if you don't already know, Kakashi with his basic, he increases his own speed by 20 for the rest of the battle. But then with his ultimate here... He does a, a good amount of damage. Then he also has a 35% chance to paralyze. So there's three characters on the same team that have a 35% chance to paralyze with their ultimate. <laughs> that is really good. And then it deals 27% uh, more damage when attacking first. And deals uh, more damage here when his HP is even higher than 50%. So incredible. I think he's a great pairing with the two brothers there. This is why I'm working on this team right now really diligently. I'm really trying to get them as high as I can right now to replace my... Shinobi siblings, but the, my Shinobi siblings are actually pretty, pretty high. And I'll show you guys in just a second here. And I kind of... Now, I've, I'm really hesitating as well, guys. Because if you can see here, so Gara is a gear tier 12. And he's just incredible. One of the best Shinobi in the game here. He's a defensive Shinobi. And he just to take a beating all day long, man. He just does not lose. He doesn't... Now, his attacks don't do that much damage. But he increases... Uh, look at this. He increases all chakra, boost all uh, boost all allies guard rate. Man, this does so much here. Increase all uh, allies chakra by five thousand when HP goes below fifty percent. So when his HP goes down, then he's gonna increase the chakra. Hmm. And then let's take a look at Kankoro here. Kankoro is actually a pretty cool uh, shinobi as well here. His uh, Iron Maiden does a lot of damage here. Deals extra damage when own HP is 50% or higher. Lowers all enemies uh, damage reduction rate by 54% if they are defeated. That's pretty good right there as well. This one here is going to attack and then it's going to lower enemies defense for the rest of the battle. All of enemies defense. That's really good as well there. And then this one boosts own damage by a certain amount. After an enemy has been defeated. So he's actually a pretty good Shinobi to have there with Gara. And then uh, Tamaru here is actually Tamari here is really, really good as well. Because she's got, first of all, I've got her to five stars. Which is important because you unlock, first of all, you unlock a new skin. A new uh, evolution to them. They look different. Plus they uh, get this increase in damage which is pretty, pretty important. So she does an AoE damage here. 100% chance to heavily wound which means... That they cannot heal as much. They only gonna they only get 50% of their healing. Lower all enemies' damage reduction rate by 16%. So she's gonna lower damage as well. So this is why I kind of like having her on the team, to be honest, because her 
and then she boosts all attack shinobis for the rest of the battle but like i said before the teams that i'm running right now her abilities just do not really fit that well and we'll talk about it in just a second here because once we look at my teams so check it out this is the teams that i'm running normally right here so i got attack shinobi and sasuke i don't have an attack shinobi at all with the legendary sonic which i'm kind of upset about i wish jiraiya was an attack shinobi i'm not sure why he's not he hits really hard he, this guy hits like a truck but i wish he was an attack shinobi because then i could keep the you know the sand siblings here because tamari her fourth ability there is going to uh, give a boost to all attack shinobi but with this current lineup here i only have one two attack shinobis and it doesn't really fit her that well and then also sonate her ability gives attack shinobis more chakra so this is the decision to go with this team here because now instead of having just two i'm gonna have three which is not a huge difference but it makes a little bit of a difference here but tamari is not going to be in the team which is okay because uh, sonate is still going to give them extra chakra here to use their ultimate and yeah that's pretty much about it guys so that's just a kind of a quick introduction to naruto ninja tribes uh, i do gotta admit though for this game guys keep in mind late end game here there's really not much to do in this game man once everything is basically you just kind of do and you leave there's not a lot of uh how should i say here creative gameplay you know uh so ninja world tournament here is a cool feature i kind of i really do like this but all you really gotta do is just log in set up your teams and leave and then you just check results afterwards i wish it was more intuitive more where you can go and you can battle tower of eternity here is a, a nice feature but you only uh, i made it all the way up to the last floor which is floor 50 you can't go any higher here and then every day you just claim the prize all the way up to floor 50 this is okay you there's your alliance raids and then you guys already saw the ninja arena there there's basically all you have to do here other than promoting your shinobi here which there's a lot of different promotions that you can do so they all like they get gear and skills so you're going to be promoting shinobi quite a bit here other than that the gameplay gets a little bit dull after a certain point i'm really hoping that uh you know the developers they really amp up the things to do in this game maybe do more events and things like that because i think the game has a lot of potential it's a lot of fun but uh, it does need uh, quite a bit of uh, boosting up here so that's pretty much it for the game guys i hope you guys uh try it out enjoy it and uh, let me know if you're gonna keep playing that drop a like if you want to keep seeing more videos on naruto ninja tribes and i'll catch you guys in the next video all right till then have a good morning good afternoon and good night everybody Oh! <laughs>